These men are trying to meet up with teenagers online. Do you have kids of your own? Yeah. What would they think of this? They probably disown me. They think they're talking to actual teenagers, but in reality, they're talking to an adult decoy posing as one on the other end. You say 14? Yeah. Oh my god, that's too young. I act older though. You having a good Saturday night? How's it going? Not only is it immoral and downright disgusting, but it's illegal. And these guys know that very well. You won't believe some of their excuses. I don't have no intentions to try to do anything, though, buddy. You don't? I don't. What about when you said that you wanted to slide your hands up and down her back? You talking to me like that at first. They come in all different shapes and sizes. It, I, this poor judge and I might hurt to ever continue the conversations. Just want to let you know you, you've just been skeeted. What is skeeted? No, I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and I hope you're in the holiday spirit because we've got quite the naughty list to get through here. We're going to be here for a while. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the back of a police car in handcuffs. Well, if you're 59-year-old Harold, that is. He showed up to our sting house to meet who he thought was a 14-year-old girl. Not only is he on Santa's naughty list, but he's also on the National Sex Offender Registry. Unfortunately for him, this year, he'll be spending the holiday season behind bars. And the only presents he'll be getting is a lump of coal in his stocking, and maybe a little something from his cellmate in the Santa Rosa County Jail. Oh, and you can tack on four felonies to that as well. This time we're in Pensacola, Florida, home to over 50,000 residents. It's a quiet town, but it wasn't such a silent night when word got out about Harold's doings. We set up an online profile, posing as a teen girl. After chatting it up with a 14-year-old girl for about a week, Harold decided to come on over for some hot cookies and milk, as he put it. He got the cookies and milk all right, but he also got skeeted in the process. You said you wanted to roleplay. At some point you said you wanted to roleplay cops and robbers. Didn't you say that? Mm -hmm. well, lucky for you, we can actually make that happen for you. We can get actual cops here. And you can be the robber, would you like that? Nah. Why not? It's a role play. Not a very good trade-off, if you ask me. Just get a load of some of his chat log. The girl says she's 14 and asks Harold if he's okay with it. He says, wow, you look older. What have you done sexually? The girl says she messed around with a boy in the locker room at school the previous year. Harold asks if she went down on him and if she swallowed. The girl says yes. Harold then replies, Gok Gok, you're the champ. As you can see, he's got a fancy way with his words. But his reign of terror doesn't end there. Just listen to some of this phone call. So what's goody? Yeah, you was goody. Hell, I'm goody. <laughs> How am I like it? Say <laughs> what? Well, I'm excited because I think the vibes are going to be fun and good, so. I think that's why I don't want like, to like say it. I just like to let it happen. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Exactly. But I know what's going to be good, though. What? The damn cookies that better be good. Oh, my gosh. You, you are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe them lips might be good, too. <laughs> My lips are good. I know. I just hope they not get wet like these other girls told me. What? She's just talking on the phone with me. 
Harold claimed that he was only there to bring the girl some Kentucky Fried Chicken and then be on his way. But Santa's naughty list indicated otherwise. We came across this uh, Harold guy on the dating apps about a week before he showed up to our sting house to meet this 14-year-old uh, girl. On his dating profile, it said he was uh, 35. He only showed half of his face in his profile picture. And his name on the account, I believe, was, uh, was Mike Jones, is what, he was, is what he was going by. And uh, when he was talking to this 14-year-old girl, he told her that his name was uh, Tim, is what he said. Turned out his name was actually Harold, and he was 59 years old, not, not 35. Now, when these guys go through such measures to keep their personal information anonymous, chances are uh, they've probably done this before. And to no surprise, uh, Harold is actually on the uh, sex offender list. He was before we had even come across him. Now, when we were talking to Harold, we told him that the girl's mom was going to be out of town the following weekend. That seemed to excite him. As soon as he heard that, he starts talking about how he can come on over and um, chill, watch Netflix with the girl, this and that. Now, his main fascination seemed to be these, um, these hot cookies and milk that he wanted to have with the girl. He told the girl that she should bake him some cookies and have it ready for him when he got there. And I am a man of my word, so I made sure that when Harold got to our sting house, there were hot cookies and milk there waiting for him. And about 20 minutes before Harold's arrival, we um, got the Toll House cookies out, put them on the baking sheet, and into the oven they went. Um, we made sure that those cookies were hot for him as soon as he got there. For this episode, we teamed up with professional stepsister Aria Banks. And uh, if you already know who she is, then chances are you're probably already on the naughty list. Now, despite this being her first time in a fully clothed scene, uh, she actually did a pretty good job as the decoy. You know, I gotta, I, I gotta hand it to her. She's a, she's a natural. I was dressed as good old Saint Nick. She was dressed as an elf, uh, you know, Santa's little helper. And about five minutes before Harold's arrival, we fired up the cameras and got into position. All right, so how are you feeling about this so far? Really nervous. Really nervous? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, there was once a time when I had not had my predator catch cherry popped and this is gonna be, you know, a good experience for you. I think, I think you're gonna like it after it's uh, all said and done. I just, just wanna kinda show you everything that's, that's going on here. So this is our guy here. He, uh, he calls, himself, calls himself Big Chocolate. Um, so these are some of my notes here. Some of the things he said on the phone, he asked the girl if she gets wet on the phone, like uh, the other girls that With he talks the other to. Girls? Yeah, and she, he thinks the girl's 14. That's so, so bad. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Yeah, he's saying a lot of, just a lot of a lot sus of things. Stuff. A lot of naughty stuff. He's yeah, definitely, he's, on the <laughs> he's for sure on the naughty list. Absolutely. Yeah. Here he, he called himself Big Chocolate, then he asked the girl if she eats chocolate, and then he says, double chocolate melts in your mouth. <laughs> now, it's not in this chat look here, but he also said that he wants to maybe come over and take a shower. So, if you could do the honors of getting him in that shower I mean, to take it, and then we'll call the cops? Yeah. Do you think you can handle that? Yeah, I think okay. I can definitely get him in the house and For get him sure. comfortable so that you guys can call the authority. The authorities. The authorities, right, right. And worst case scenario, we'll just sit him right there. Um, we'll have some uh, cookies, cookies and, and milk. Merry Christmas. If you want to get him, yeah, we'll just have him have a cookie and we'll pour up a glass of milk right here in uh, just a second for him. And uh, it, it should it should be a good time. So uh, we're going to give him the address and uh, we're going to gonna get going on it.
He's coming. You said you wanted to take a shower, right? Alright, well, I laid a towel down. Are you going to go here? No, no, he's here. It's, no, my, my mom and dad are out of town. Oh, oh, I thought you said they stay together. They don't stay together. No, they don't. But my dad likes to come and check on me sometimes. But when? Is he coming tonight? No, no, no. no. They're both busy. Trust me, I know. Trust me. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have you come over here if we weren't completely alone. Did you want to take a shower? Or I made some cookies. Oh, if you want to. Yeah. Look. Looks like you made the naughty list. Hmm? Looks like you made the naughty list. Hmm. How you doing, predatory investigation unit? You're gonna want to sit down right there, sir. Oh. So what brings you here today? She wants something to eat. She wants something to eat. And what else? Oh, that's good. That's good. nothing. Oh, okay. So what were you asked? What was that about going all the way that I heard? And we do have the police on standby, so you know, sir. Oh, I am. Yeah. Okay. So you should just go and answer the question here. What were you talking about when you said go all the way just now? No, I wasn't talking about that. Well, well, explain it, because I'm, I'm curious. No, I wasn't going to do anything. Right. Oh, you weren't going to, you weren't worried about anything? Mm -mm. Okay, how, how old is that girl you were talking to? I don't know. She's, you don't know? She's 19. Oh, she said she was 19. Okay. Mm. Let's see here. Sir, oh. go ahead and take a seat for me, please. All right. Appreciate it. What about right here in the chat where she told you that she's 14? See right here? She said, I'm really 14. Do you remember having this conversation? Mm -hmm. This would be your picture, right? Yep. Okay. So she did tell you that she's 14. And then you said that you're nervous because of her, her age limit. Now, you, I understand you call yourself Big Chocolate. No. Oh, my Please keep your hands out of your pockets for me, sir. If you could just keep them on the table for me. I noticed you were you were having a phone conversation. She, you said that you asked her if she gets wet on the phone like the other girls that you talked to. Why? I mean, why? Why ask her something like that Probably if she's fourteen? Just messing around. Just messing around. Well, I think this is a, a bit of a step beyond messing around. I mean, you're actually here to meet, you know, a fourteen-year-old girl. Wouldn't you agree? This is a bit of a step beyond just messing around. This is some serious stuff. You know you could go to, you could go to jail for something like this. You do realize that. Now, what was your name? Tim. What was it? Tim. Tim. Tim what? Tim. Yeah. Okay. You were talking about eating cookies, you said. Those cookies are gonna be good and maybe those lips might be too. Yeah. You remember saying that? Yeah, she just be talking and I don't know. Oh, she was talking. But that's something that you said, Tim. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why say that to a 14-year-old girl? Because I was like, uh, I, 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 was, I would say I was just playing around. Didn't just you? playing, oh, just a big joke. Okay, you said that you might end up kissing her. You asked her if she's gonna wrap her legs around you and grab your face. Do you remember saying that? 
So, so, so why are you here then if you didn't want to come here? Because she wanted something to eat. Oh, she just wanted, so you figured you'd bring her something to eat and then ask her if she's ever gone all the way before and what no, she's I done with other guys. Well, you just, no, you just no, asked her that. I said, no, no, I'm going, no, I'm going. Well, Tim, I was just in the pantry listening to every word. I, I didn't say, I didn't say like that. You asked her if she went all the way before, I'm pretty sure. That's what I heard. And after you call yourself, you say that you're chocolate. You ask her if she's eating yummy chocolate. And then you say, yes, double chocolate. She said she likes chocolate. Then you say, it melts in your mouth, not your hands. So what do you mean by that? Oh, that's chocolate and period. You know? Oh, you're just talking about actual chocolate. Yeah. So being that you're of African descent, you weren't talking about you in this regard. Okay. Gotcha. And then you, you said we could role play. What do you mean by that? She said, uh, oh, no, no, you said it right here. I have it right here, Tim. Oh, yeah, That's from you. You said, said that. You said you wanted to role play. At some point you said you wanted to role play cops and robbers. Didn't you say that? Mm -hmm. Well, lucky for you, we can actually make that happen for you. We can get actual cops here. And you can be the robber. Would you like that? Nah. Why not? It's a role play. If you're just coming to role play, you say that she says she's going to bake cookies for you. And then you said that you'll be like Santa, specifically like bad Santa in the movie is what you say. That's bad as a bit of an understatement, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I mean, th this is illegal. You understand that, Tim? Mm -hmm. I mean, just help me understand. Like, why, why come here to meet this 14-year-old girl home alone? No, I, well, I just want to, I'm not going to do that. Well, well, okay, even if you now, weren't going to. She asked me to come, so I, I said, I'll bring you some, but I'm not going to, I can say anything going on, but I'll take some people. Oh, you can say, so you didn't mean any of the stuff that you were saying here. You surprised the stuff people yes. say to me, and I just don't, I don't, I don't be, I'm going to be doing Oh, okay. And even when you said, you, even when you asked her, she's behind the scenes naughty. You ask her what she did with the boy in eighth grade last year. You ask her if she went down south on him. You ask her if she spit or swallowed. What is that? No, I mean in your hand there, Tim. What, oh, what were you just, oh. an earpiece? Oh, okay, just, just wondering there. And then when she said that she swallowed, you say, Gawk, gawk, you the champ. What does that mean? That's you, what you do. No, well, help me understand, what is, what is gawk, gawk? I mean, that's you, if you, if you spell it, swallow, I mean, you know. Well, what is gawk, gawk? Is that sort of like the, like the sound that I don't know. she would be? What she well, well, you said it, so you must know. I mean, that's what, if she's swallowing or whatever. Well, you know? what is, help me understand what gawk, gawk is. What I is mean, gawk, that's gawk? That's what she uh, do, you know. That's what she does. Got it, Tim. Got it. Do you have anything to, else to say for yourself, Tim? Mm. And I mean, that's not even, you know, the end of it. I have even more here that you were saying today. And I haven't even gotten to, to this stuff here. But just, just give me one second so I can ask you about this stuff, okay? Now, Harold had a very long, uh, very dirty chat log with this 14-year-old girl. It's actually a, a bit disturbing. But there was one part in the chat log in particular that I wanted to point out here, and it was, um... Oh, wait a minute. No, this isn't the chat log. This is a comic book that I picked up from firstformcollectibles.com. And, uh, this, this video is actually sponsored by them. Did you really think you were gonna watch this entire video without me trying to sell you something? <laughs> No. I'm Sellout Skeet, and I want your money. So let's talk about FirstFormCollectibles.com. Are you a f***ing nerd? A weeaboo? A Discord moderator incel? Wait, let me back up. You're gonna need professional help for that shit. But for the first few items, First Form Collectibles can help you out. And let me explain how. First Form Collectibles is gonna be your one-stop shop for anything related to Funko Pop culture. They carry rare items, especially in relation to Funko exclusive products. They even have some Skeeter J merchandise on their website. Now let me show you a few other products here. Who doesn't love the Ninja Turtles right here? We have Leonardo. 
Okay, he's looking pretty cool. It even comes with a complimentary slice of Predator pizza with extra Predaroni, as you can see here. Here we have a Funko Pop of Daemon Targaryen from Game of Thrones, signed by the actor himself. Pretty rare stuff here. Is your wife nagging at you because you're sitting on your ass watching Skeeter Jean videos all day? Well, give her this lovely Disney princess purse just in time for the holidays. It'll make a great Christmas gift. I mean, this, this thing is just you know, spectacular. She's going to love it. And wifey, if you're watching this, stay with him. He's a king. And they're also carrying the Predator Pasta shirt here that just got restocked in black. So if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you head over there and uh, pick one of these babies up. If you want to have the best nerdgasm ever, be sure to head over to firstformcollectibles.com and use my code Skeeter for 10% off anything in their entire store. Just in time for the holiday season. Now I'm going to go ahead and hand you back over to Skeet Hansen. Let's see. You say you'll go with the flow when you when you get here. So it looks like you were looking to do a little bit more than nah. just give her some food and... <laughs> She knows about that. I'm she knows it. Oh, okay. You weren't going to do anything. Let's see. You were so worried about the neighbors seeing you come in. Why were you so worried about the neighbors? I don't want to bring you no food. You know, why would you get in trouble, Tim? Because I wasn't going to do nothing. If you weren't going to do anything, why are you so worried about getting in trouble? And you were telling her to... I don't want you to... I said, well, I don't want to go over there if you're going to get in trouble by me bringing you some food. Oh, she's going to get in trouble. So what about getting you in trouble, though? Did you think about that? Mm -hmm. You did. And you were asking I, her I, to... Yeah, I would ask her, but I don't want to get in trouble. Come on, come on. Oh, you don't want to get in trouble. Well, it may be a little too late for that, Tim. And then you're telling her to delete messages. You, you know, it seemed like what you were doing here was really... It seemed like you knew it was wrong. That's what it looks like here. Okay. You're talking about bringing her wings, You're talking about just eating chocolate chip cookies with her. You're asking her how long her mom's going to be gone. You're asking her if her mom associates with the neighbors. Even today, you just asked if she kissed or gave the boy a BJ that she was with previously. So that's, the, that's just asking a question. Just a question. Interesting, Tim. Very interesting. Set up. Oh, you get, oh, you, you feel like you got settled. Well, it looks like to me, it looks like you're here to meet a 14 year old girl. No, I'm talking about the floor. Okay, you mentioned something about your third leg here. You call it Lil T, is what you say. Mm -hmm. You say something about Lil T might spit on you. What do you mean by that? You say you can't make him mad, he might spit at you. So who is this little T character? What's that, Tim? I was speaking about me. About you. So what's little T? Me. Well, it looks like you said it was your third leg, meaning your penis. Mm -hmm. And you, you asked her if she's going to rub him. You even said that she could do karaoke with it. With little T. Tim, is there anything you have to say for yourself here? I mean... No, I just, I just said, what happened? I just like, I don't know, I mean, I feel bad. But you feel bad. What do you, why do you feel bad? Trying to, you know, because I'm always helping people and everything. You're always helping people. How is this going to, how is coming to meet a 14-year-old girl, home alone for sex, presumably, going to help oh, her? No, 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 no. Tim, you talked about your pain. I know what I talked about, but okay. I, I didn't mean it, though. You didn't mean it. Well, you see how it looks to me. Mm-hmm. So tell me, tell me this. If we weren't here and a fourteen-year-old girl I had to, because I told her I wasn't going to stay. I told her. I told her. So I you're just going to come? I said, no, do not, do not. I said no. I'm not, I'm not going to mess with you now. Okay, so you're just going to come by, drop her off some food. I bring you some food, but okay. I'm not going to. I said I'll stay. Just for a little bit, make sure she's okay. Mm -hmm. While her mom's out of town and she's alone, and then you were going to leave. Yep. You think the police would buy that story? Yep. You think they would? I don't know. You want to put it to the test? I don't know. You don't know. You okay. We could. Well, maybe you and your friend Lilty could have a word with the police about this. Okay.
So like I said, I do have them on standby here, and we're just gonna, if you could just sit there tight for me, Tim, while I um, just make this call here. <clears throat> Uh, I need a police officer at this address. Um, uh, we set up a sting operation and a 30-some-year-old man is here to meet who he thinks is a 14-year-old girl for sex, so... Okay. No, no. Okay, no. sir, stay in line for the sheriff's office. Yes, sir. Sheriff's office emergency. Hi, I'm, uh, I wanted to report a 30-some-year-old man who is here to meet a 13, 14-year-old girl for sex in a sting operation. He is here at our sting house right now. If I could just get an officer um, on the premises. All right, and are you a deputy or? Nope, uh, just a part of a privately owned and operated organization. All right, what's the organization? It's called the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Tim, that's what it looks like from the chat log I have here. Okay. You talked about sex. You talked about your penis. Hey, my mom, I'm getting ready to go to jail. He's calling his mom right now. Because I came over here and this girl said I set me up. Well, he came to have sex with a 13 year, no, or 14 no, year old no, girl. We have the chat logs right here. See, I have my chat line. I was coming, but I didn't know. We that. have it all here. And they think I was going to sell, so I'm, I'm going. All right. Do you have his name? I'm going to go. Uh, he's just telling me his name is Tim. And what was your last name, Tim? Oh, when I left the house because yeah, I just brought her something to eat and stuff like that. Uh, like on, it's like a, like a sting. You were trying to bring her a little more than something to eat from no, what I see. No, no, it wasn't. And then I know it's just, you know, like set up, so I'm going, I'm going to be gone. Well, I'm going. Yeah, I know. I started to stay home because I, I kind of knew something was wrong. Well, I, I just, you know me, I'm always like helping people out, you know. I know they got, like, it's like, a, she got, like, Texas and stuff, and I was just talking about, I don't know if I'm doing nothing like that. He's a black male. Like, they think I was supposed to come have sex just because I was texting her, you know, but I, you know, she told me, I didn't know that. You know, I'm just, like, like, like 21 or something like that, and she said she was like 14. I was like, I ain't doing nothing about that. Never said anything of the, so of the sort. Yeah, I'm right here with the police. I know, Mama, that makes me, that makes me look bad. That makes you look bad. And I'm supposed to take these kids tomorrow. Mm -hmm. see, I really like, got my, like my picture because you know what I went through the first time, you know, when I got set up. That's why they let me go. That's the same thing. I said, I said what I said what happened. I didn't do anything. Like even the first time. So you've been caught doing this before? No, somebody had called me somewhere and they and set me up, and then the police had let, let me go. Oh, so you're doing the same thing again? No, no, no. It wasn't like that. I had went went somewhere. And then the truck is over here. What did he show up in? What type of vehicle? Uh, we have not been outside. Okay. I just had that feeling, I was like, well, let me see, um, so, but, but see, they got like text messages saying stuff, you know, that's what I was, I was talking about, that does not mean that I was going to do anything. When you text me, it's like, well, I understand what they're right. saying, but, but this is what happened the last time and everything. If anything changes, just give us a call back, okay? Okay, do you have an ETA? Just a few minutes, okay. Great, thank you. All right, you're welcome, sir. Bye. Okay. I know, that's what I'm saying. They're always telling me what they're in trouble and they to now come. I know, I know what the text messages I said. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I got a heart and shit like that. I mean, I, that's, why, that's why I said, I said, like, let me talk. I said, look, I could text and say anything that does not mean that I'm going to do it. But that's what happened to me the first time when they put me on probation. When even when I judged, I said, "I said, look, they know what happened to me that that night. Even the first time, you it was without that. With, hello, can I go, Well, well, Tim, the police are on their way in. If 
there's nothing else you have to say, then what I have to let you know is that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know okay. what it is and Okay. Okay. So I just want to let you know you're we're doing an online series about well, I understand. adults I've seen who it. I've seen it before. try I've, to meet teens online. I've seen it before. And I know you did reference <laughs> these kind of shows when oh, yeah, you're talking to the girl. I've seen them. You yeah. did reference them. You said you didn't want to be on one. Hmm. And you said you didn't want to end up on one of those shows. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, welcome them. to reality. Now you're on one of those shows. Yeah, I've seen them. So even seeing those shows, you still decided to come in here and meet this 14-year-old girl? You'd be surprised at stuff I didn't uh, I, it's, it's, I'm, be, I'm more and more sort of surprised as every minute goes on right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't believe what I'm saying right now. Is there anything you have to say, Tim, that you want to let anyone know? Not who? Like anyone who may see this broadcast in the future, any of your friends or family. I mean, they know. They, they, know, they know who I am. Oh, I mean, they know. They, they know who I am. So they, they know so that. They, they ask me, like, why do you always keep helping people out? Okay. I, you, don't have to, you don't have to believe it, though, but... I said, when I say, when I say, I said, look, I'm not, I'm not going to, mean, even if I did go meet somebody, that does not mean I'm going to do anything. I can say anything, okay. just like so, they can say anything. So in their eyes, they know that you're just a good-hearted guy and you weren't going to come here and do anything. No, I said, I'll work. come and bring you something to eat, but okay. I won't. I won't do it. It doesn't mean I won't mess with them. And that's it. Just even what happened the first time I met that when I met. Well, I tell me, tell me about the first time this happened. First time? Yeah. Tell Listen, me about that. I, I went to go help somebody. Then the first thing they put on there is that they said. I just wanted to play a game on him and uh, and everything. I wanted to play a game on him, so I'll do it. But when they did, but see, but when it, it was all said and done, they knew I was right. And how old was do, do I, huh? how old was the person you were trying I to help? I have no idea. It wasn't. It wasn't even female, from what I understand. Well, it's it's not a matter of male or female. How old were they? I don't know. Were you caught for trying to meet up with a minor before? No, I wasn't caught. It was just the fact that when it happened, it's like I think they must have called the police or something like that or when it happened because they got there at the same time I did. For you trying to help someone. Yeah, but it wasn't that though. Because okay. because they said they wanted to go somewhere. Plus they had bags in their hand and everything. What were you trying Listen, to? You wasn't there though. See, it's, it's like I know. You 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 wouldn't know. But I'm here See, that's now. That's why they that's why that's why they let me go. Okay. What were you trying to help them with? Because they said no, I wasn't helping. I just wanted they wanted to go somewhere. Oh, they wanted to go somewhere. Yeah, and put, okay. you could, even the police that was going to vouch for me if I had to go to court, he said that. Even he said. It. Interesting. So this is your first time trying to meet up with an underage no, person. No, I'm not trying to meet up with anybody. No, I, I said, mean, I'll come. No, I mean this time. Well, you're here to meet an underage person. They said they were 14. So you are here to do that. At least meet them. So you're saying this is the first time you've tried to meet someone that age. Underage. Um, Matt, um, no, I wasn't. I didn't meet him. I said, the first time you said you said you were 19. No, Tim, there was none, none of that in the conversation. It only said 14. For what, for the first time? For a week, she said she was, for, I'm sorry, for a few days, she said she was 14. You were asking how long her mom was going to be gone. Asking if the neighbors were going to be on lookout, you told her to delete text messages. You thought this girl was fourteen. No, I thought she was nineteen or twenty. Why were you telling her? Reference that she was in middle school in the chat for a moment. You did, yeah. Tim. Yeah. Why were you telling her to something. delete she messages? She said something about that. Yeah. She said, "I say you sure." I should see. I say you sure. I said, "I read it. I know what I said." No, I you said. So do you know right here? And she says right there. I'm yeah. really 14. I said, I said, yeah. I said, I said, you sure? Yeah. And said, she no, said, you need to start telling people the truth. And, and she like said, that. yes, I am 100% 14. We also have all the recorded phone calls that you had with her, all four or five, mm -hmm. where she does say on the phone that she's 14. And you're talking very explicitly. And I said, and I, but I never really said anything bad, though. Nothing bad? Uh, Telling her about your penis? How it would spit? Little Tim and the whole gawk gawk thing, well, you're the champ. So I won't go. I said, I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with you. I'm not gonna mess with well, you. Well, it's like you came to mess with her, Tim, from what I can see. It may have that way, but I didn't go. Okay, well, I guess we can explain it to the police. And that's what happened to me the first time. 
Okay. And that's why they let me go because they knew what was going on. Gotcha. We'll we'll see. Let's I show them what I'm gonna show them. We'll see if they still let you go. Yeah, ultimately that'll be their their decision. So it's up to them to design. But it was worse the first time. Okay, Tim. So it was worse than you coming to meet a fourteen year old girl for sex, presumably. No. Well, we wasn't coming out. Yeah, see, y'all can, can say that. I, I know what it says. I have everything here. I'm not going to do anything, though. And I told her, and I said that. I said, I'm not going to do anything. You I did, said, I don't recall you saying that you I, weren't no, going to do anything. No, I, I said, I'm not going to do anything. You told me you weren't going to do anything. I said, I'm not going to do anything. Because I already okay. had it in my mind, because I think something's wrong. Gotcha. And I said, I said, well, I'm going to see you know, what she did. I'm going to say, don't. What did you think was wrong? Because it's the way she was talking. So you thought it might be some sort of setup, mm -hmm. and you found out the hard way. So well, even I found out the hard way the first time. So one time isn't enough for you. Well, it was different the first time though. This is that the first time was worse than this. It okay. Was way worse. Gotcha. And that's why. Worse I, in what way? And, huh? How was it worse? Because the person was doing something to me that that, that that I wasn't supposed to. Okay, gotcha. That's why, that's why they let me go. Because if okay. you need to be, look, no, nah, I don't think you read the report, did you? Uh, I, I didn't get to that one. No, nah. oh, yeah, you I, read the report and you listen, there was a police officer, they said, look, man, ain't nobody come out here to do this, man. Okay. I mean, I can say what I want to say and do what I want to say, but it's not mean I'm going to do it. And then the police officer that actually told me everything, he was the one that was going to vouch for me in court. Oh, interesting. And it's on court, and it's on paper. Okay. Okay. So how old are you then? Oh, me? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you. I'm older than that. Older than what you told her. Mm -hmm. So how old are you? I was born in 63. Born in 63. Hmm. So uh, why did you... Did you look on that paper? And I, said, I, still, I, still, I will come to help anybody. Why'd you tell her that you, why did you lie about her age, your age to her? Because nobody believes me. I, 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 I told so, her. I so told you're her. really 59. Mm -hmm. You're about to be 60. Mm -hmm. But you told her you were 35. I never even said I was 35. She said that. Oh, I believe that's what was on your, your dating profile, is how we got that. No, nobody, okay. No, no, nobody believes me. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I know you may not believe it because you think. Well, Tim, I don't believe that you were just going to come over here and drop her off some food and because then leave. That's why I said, I said, when I said that, I said, here you go. And I said, I'm finna go. And she said, no, 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 come on in. I said, no, I'm finna go. And she'll tell you, she'll tell you that. I said, I'm finna go. Oh, okay. And she said, no, 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 come on. I mean, that's not what you said. It didn't look like that was the case when you sat down and started stuff in your mouth with cookies there. No, I said out there. They were there. baked freshly. No, I said out there. Oh, out there you said that to yeah, her. Yeah, I said, I'm finna go. She said, no, 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 come on. I said, no, I'm finna go because, uh, mm, so, that's something. I said, nah. Why'd you come in anyway? She said, no, 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 come, come on in, come on in. That, that's what she said, but y'all didn't hear that. Of course. Well, we can look back at the recordings. I said, no, I'm, 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 I said, no, I'm finna go. Man. Why'd you come in anyway? Because she invited me. I said, you sure? You, you seem you like you I really said, wanted to come here. I said, I did, but I didn't. I mean, they can record how they want, but. You did, I but said, you I didn't. said, nah, I don't know, man. I said, no, I don't know, man. Okay. I said, I don't know. But by all means, don't stop me from letting you enjoy your cookie. Nah, I'm good. They're good on the cookie? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. They're pretty good. They're fresh baked. I mean, I know. I'm just good. came out of the oven, as you can I'm good. see. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. All right. How you doing? What's up, Sam? I said, I'm good, man. How's it going? Uh, we have a uh, rather naughty one here. Um, no, I'm not naughty, no. no so I'm, no. we run a bit of a sting operation. you kind of like the head of... I'm the, I'm the head of all this, yeah. Okay. You want to talk to me outside? Sure, yeah. sure thing. Now, it was hard to tell exactly what the situation was uh, from when Harold was explaining uh, what had happened to him. 
the last time. But uh, from the sound of it, I would guess that he may have been caught in another sting operation um, hosted by the police. He said that the previous situation had been much, much worse than uh, the current one that he got himself in. And if he did get caught in a sting operation before trying to meet up with an underage person, you would think that would deter him from doing it again. But no, here he is in the kitchen, trying to meet a 14 year old girl, stuffing his face with cookies and milk with a box of KFC for the girl. I mean, y you really gotta wonder what makes a man, what, what drives a man to, to do this sort of thing? It just boggles me. Is it out of Florida? Uh, yeah, it should be out of Florida. Yeah. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you and having these rights in mind, you still wish to speak to me? Okay. Mm -hmm. You still wish to speak to me, sir? About what? Uh, so I, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, not, not necessarily in relation to this stuff, but also in regards to your vehicles. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So uh, how long have you been on the vehicle out there for? It's not mine. It's my mom. It's not yours? We just drive with the same insurance. Yeah. Okay. Do you normally drive with that? Yeah. Okay. How often do you normally drive with Just to work. And if I had to run the kids everywhere they gotta go. Do you have an email address that you use? I uh, just on the phone. Uh, what is that one? I can't remember. It's just... Do you have any social media accounts? Uh, just what's on here. I don't have your phone. What's on there? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok? Mm, well, it's the uh, IG, uh, Snapchat. Snapchat. I just gotta use my sister's phone. I'm a sister's phone for my brother's phone. That's not your phone? No, it's not really. I just use it. People get in contact with me. So it was your phone? Basically, it's okay. not this, uh... You didn't purchase it, but you used it, correct? It was, uh, something like that. It's a gift? And uh, as far as the accounts, uh, what's the, both the Instagram and the Snapchat, do you have the usernames for both of those? Mm -hmm. Uh, the usernames for both the Instagram and the Snapchat account. Oh. And then, uh, for the Snapchat account, you know, what's the... Uh, I think it's I see you scheme. This letters I C U. I, I don't know. My friend made that up for me. Okay. Yeah. Are you able to pull it up on your phone now? So I can see the actual account now? Be able to spell properly. Oh, I see you. Ski, ski. That's what it is. I see you. He made that up for me. I don't know. I didn't make that up. I'm not. I see you skeet. How'd you come up with that one? He did. Who did? My friend. Oh, your friend made it for you? I don't know how to make it. I don't know. Okay. Just like your friend made the Scout account for you? Scout? Yeah. Oh, did you meet me? Yeah, or meet me. Didn't you say that? Your friend made it for you? No, I just didn't. You didn't say that? No, I thought I... Oh, okay. They showed me how to do it. Oh, okay. okay. I thought you said that during the chat. No, no, no. no, no. See, I'm really older than my profile because my homie made it for me. Yeah. That's what you said here. Yeah, Meaning the... All right, sir. I'm going to be seizing the phone. Okay. So in regards to your sex offender status, have you uh, notified FGLE on using the vehicle? So using your mother's vehicle? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You've notified them about that? Oh, yeah, about, they, about yeah. all the accounts. Have you notified them on any of these? I talk, well, I told them, but I don't know if they got them. Okay, so they they should be aware of the email, the Snapchat, all that. But they should be. They should be. Is it in there? Again, we're we're 
we're still waiting on FTLA to get back to us on that. And again, are there any other accounts that we need to be aware of outside of the Instagram, Snapchat, the email, any other phone numbers you're using? All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. We need to start wearing Fitbits, man. All the steps we get on this job. I'll say you probably get them real quick, I can imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to reach your step count real fast, just work for freight in any grocery store. Mm-hmm. Pallets all day long. Oh, yeah. Most important thing is you got to lay out those cookies. Yeah. If you really want to want the weight to come down. Yeah. Those cookies will get you. They're, they're delicious, but... Mm. Santa Claus has got to take a break. You can only slide down so many chimneys, you know. Right. Well, not all chimneys are the same, too, bro. They're, they're built different out here. Some some of them aren't thick compatible. Yeah, chimneys in the D are way different. For sure. Everything's bigger, bigger in the D. Yeah, this time you're going to be detained for sex offender registration going through. I'm still talking to the detective here, so. Just. <clears throat> Should get it? What's up? Should get it? Oh yeah, he's getting it. You guys, you guys want a YouTube channel? Uh, yes, we do. That's that's mainly what this is. Uh, this is for. Uh, coming up on half a million. Seriously? Yeah. Wow, dude! Congrats. Yeah. Oh, thank you. What are these images he sent after he's talking about little T? Are those pics? No, he didn't. He never actually sent pics. Uh, the Im let me see the what images here. Those might have been those like smiley face images he was okay, sending. Okay. I think that's what those might have been. The only other images he sent were pictures of himself, but those were from like another number he sent them from. Yeah, I think he knew just what to send and what not to send. It seems like. Yeah. So what felony charges are we looking at for him? It's a bunch of sex offender violations. Really? He's a sex offender. Okay. Um, all the sex offender registration violations that he's going to be charged with is like completely separate than this. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, oh, it's because he had the profiles and the numbers. And, yeah. Okay, gotcha. So what was said on the phone? Uh, I'd have to go back and listen, but uh, I made note of some of the things here that he was saying that I wanted to question him on. Really just a few things. Um, do I have a flashlight? Do you have a flashlight? That's a few things he said. Uh, asked if she got wet on the phone like uh, the other girls that he talks to. Said, uh, he was talking about baking cookies. Said the cookies were gonna be good and maybe those lips might be too. And then he was worried about the police and being on on you know, one of these shows, yeah. might end up kissing her, ask if she's gonna wrap her legs around him, grab his face. Okay. And then ironically, he said he wanted to role play cops and robbers, <laughs> so. How many scout profiles have you uh, gone through? How many scout profiles have I gone through? Like, as far as like... Yeah, how many people report you? Oh, huh. very many. I've been doing this for, uh, for a while. Feels like almost Yes, very cases. many. Yeah, my, uh, I keep getting device banned off on Scout. But we got a bunch of burner phones that we use. Yeah, for sure. Those noble saints on the apps. Yeah. He was on the phone for a while. 
There's that. I'll be right back, man. Okay. Now, this was a long night. The uh, police had been there at the Sting House for, I want to say, two or three hours before they left. This was such a unique case that um, the police actually had to call out their detective to address the situation. They had to actually wake him up out of bed at 1, 2 in the morning and um, come and address this, this Harold situation. At the end of the night, Harold was charged with four felonies and put in the back of a police car. All the charges were related to him violating his uh, sex offender probation. I understood that as a part of his probation, um, he was required to report any social media accounts that he had to the authorities so that they can sort of keep an eye on what he's doing. And uh, Harold failed to do that. Another thing is he was driving a vehicle that uh, wasn't registered in his name, and he also failed to report that he was driving this vehicle to the authorities. I can't recall what the other two counts were, but his bond was set at a total of $10,000. That's a lot of money. Safe to say that Harold won't be getting out of jail anytime soon. He'll be spending this holiday season behind bars on the naughty list. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Deskeet a Predator, Christmas edition. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on all the social medias. The links will be in the uh, description down below for those. And I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from your good old Papa Skeet. Well, that's going to be a cut, boys and girls. Let's go get f***ing drunk. <laughs>